so Hugh, you know, so maybe you can actually tell us more about yourself, your, you know, you, how you started and how you came to Malaysia. Sure. Well, it all started way back when. Um, I remember being in, being about 13 or 14 mm -hmm. that I started uh, taking guitar classes. Mm -hmm. And before that, for for the longest time, I was lost. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I, I didn't have any interest in any of the subjects. Mm -hmm. I wasn't good at them. And I just felt like, man, maybe there is just nothing out there for me until I watched this mu music video of this Persian underground band. Mm -hmm. And I heard the guitar tone and I felt like I want to create that. And it's funny that it wasn't about the composition. It wasn't the chord, even though at the time I didn't have much uh, explanation of the chord. But I just like the sound. I just wanted to make that sound. Mm -hmm. So awesome. it's sort of how it started. So I was like, okay, I'm going to take guitar classes, I guess. And then something that was supposed to be just a hobby mm -hmm. turned out to be exactly what I want to do. Mm -hmm. So um, took that over. My parents didn't want me to go to art school. Um, but then they ended up being like, okay, this dude really stinks at everything else. So maybe we should give this a chance. And then they've been <laughs> extremely supportive ever since. I came to Malaysia at about age of 17. Mm -hmm. I met Billy, shout out, mm -hmm. from Billy Blue and Over Man. Yeah. And we put the band together. So mm -hmm. yeah, pretty cool. Our That's style okay. could be described as maybe vintage, psychedelic, blues rock. But we're always evolving, which is a human thing, I guess. Mm -hmm. Where were you originated, uh, Sohil? I'm from Iran, Tehran. I oh. was born there, raised there until I was 17, right. and then I moved here. And what what was the re what what made you come to Malaysia? Yeah. Um, brother, long story, man, long story. But Malaysia <laughs> was supposed to be a, a short staycation. It was supposed to be a maximum one year thing, and then I was supposed to go elsewhere. But then the chain of events that happened made me stay here for nine years now actually wow. and i've never looked back i'm grateful of the things that happen and it's amazing i'm yeah. here now yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> jesus looking guitarist <laughs> so he'll also yeah let's uh share uh, what, what's your experience then my big break which one um <laughs> uh, <laughs> i wouldn't call it a big break of any sort to tell the truth but i feel like uh, life happens a lot more in a more subtle manner. I feel like we get our big breaks and we get over it and we don't even realize it. I feel like often, uh, I feel like looking back, I've gone through doors that I hoped would open for the longest time. But then when you pass through it, you actually don't realize it. And then you look back and you're like, man, I've done nothing or nothing is happening, but it's actually so much. It's just so you don't realize it. But me as well as Eric, I feel like uh, Black Star was definitely one of the biggest things yeah. that happened to me. Cheers, and <laughs> it's something that really actually meant a lot to me because I feel like a lot of us artists go through um, self-doubt, if that's the right word. I don't know. And having having this makes you feel like maybe we're doing something right yeah, yeah, somewhere. Yeah. 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 True. Okay, that's nice, Sohil.